we are continuing on with this series where we use Google Earth to get some inspiration for our building. Today, we are still in the United States of America, and this time we're a little bit more northern. I'm going to take you around the state of Montana, which arguably for me, personally, is probably one of the most beautiful states I've ever seen. We're going to go about it a little bit differently today as well, because I found something on Airbnb that gives us a little bit more of an in-depth look into this house. And this house is gorgeous. I have, I think, found where it is on the map. So we're going to have a little walk around there too. But we're going to use the reference images from the Airbnb posting to make this build in Sims 4 using some custom content today. We are joined by Daisy and her little period pants. She is in season or heat. This is her first one. So I feel very sorry for her. I'm trying to make her as comfortable as possible. And she's walking around the house in a pair of little doggy knickers. And I am absolutely wet myself when I have to pull her tail through the little hole. It's just hilarious. I feel very sad for her, but she's going to be fine. It's a, it's a natural process. I am blabbering on. Let's get on over and I'm going to show you in Google Earth where this house is. And so here we are, my darlings, in the state of Montana. Um, somewhere in the middle of this mountain range is a lovely little, well, not little river, it's a rather big river. But I have no idea where this Airbnb listing is, but I think it's over the other side of this river here. I can't really see one that looks exactly like the one that we're going to be building today. I think the house is over in this area here somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know where it is. I can't see one that looks that similar. Um, Maybe that one. No, I don't think it is. It could even be a new build. It could even be a new build. You know, I do not know. But the house itself is absolutely adorable. And it's got this like rustic sort of modern charm to it. So what we're going to go and do now is have a look at the Airbnb listing instead of this. And here she is. Look how cute that is. That is so adorable. I just love the like use of like the wood and the shingles on the side. But I love like the kind of like it looks traditional, but it's also got a very much a modern edge to it. It's definitely a new build, I would say. Uh, it's got its like own little like veg patch over here as well, like all fenced in maybe to keep, I don't know, coyotes or something out. I don't know the animals in this area. Um, but look at it. It's so adorable. And I love the kind of like orangey wood as well. I think that's a very, very nice vibe. So this is the, the shape that I saw first. And I was like, oh my God, I'd love to build that. So we're going to give it a go. We are going to give this a go. I think what I'm going to do is make it a one bedroom. Just because I want to get the one bedroom up into like a mezzanine level. Maybe up on this area here, you know, by like the roof line. I think that could be kind of a nice vibe. Um, and the interior itself is gorgeous as well. Love this front porch area. Maybe we could do something similar to that too. But the interiors inside are just, it's just gorgeous. The kitchen as well, the white kitchen um, with like the tiled backdrop with like the range cooker there. There's the roof line in the kitchen that I absolutely love. I love these windows above the sink here. I think it's all very gorgeous. This here, like the big island that we've got going on. But... Um, it's got chairs on the island instead of stools, which I really like as well. So I think we're going to try and do something similar to this, loves. And that shot there, like going back into what I think is a living room. So it's kind of a living and kitchen area, um, which is what I'm going to do. And I love these big beams up here, which we're going to try and do and maybe use the organic from um, Harry and Felix and put those up on the top there as well. But I, I just fell in love with this house. I really, really did. So that, my loves, is what we are going to go ahead and build today. So without further ado, I think the world I'm going to build this in is probably going to be Chestnut Ridge. It's going to be the most similar, I would imagine. So let's get on over to Chestnut Ridge and build this house. And here we are, my loves, in the world of Chestnut Ridge on a 30 by 30 lot. I just thought this lot would work kind of well because it's got similar kind of things around it. I know it's kind of probably in a different climate, this land. Does Montana get hot? I wouldn't imagine it does get very hot because it's up near kind of the Canadian border, isn't it? I might be wrong in that. I do not know. My knowledge on US ge geographical things are not good. But it's got a river. It's got some mountains in the back. And it's got a lot here. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Yes, we are indeed. So let's make a bloody star, shall we? Yes, we should indeed. Right, here we go. So basic shape. I'm looking at this reference image. It's got a little bump out here. I think I'm going to go maybe two in like that, like you. And then I'm going to come out one on each side like this. 
we're going to continue on through here. I think this is where the kitchen and uh, living area is. So I think I want to make it maybe a little bit bigger. I'm going to go to about there, I think. Let me have a little look at that. Yeah, I think that could work. I'm not going to make it exactly like the uh, house itself. I'm going to go on a bit like I usually do and go off on a little bit of a whim. So I think what I'm going to do is go to there. Connect that in like that and do a little bump out here as well. And then we can figure out what we're going to be putting in there. Just like that. Uh, let's get those walls up, please. And then there's a little connecting moment which houses the main entrance. And it kind of comes across here. I think I'm going to go a bit more wider with this as well. Maybe four width. Yes. If I can go to there. Let me see that. Yeah, I think that could work. And then there's almost this little barn area here. So I'm going to pull the barn out a little bit more. I'm going to do it to there. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to put in this area just yet. I am going to go to there. This is what, there's almost like a little lean-to on the side here that's open to the elements as well. Um, I'm going to maybe go across like that. Because I do want to have a little bit of a mezzanine bedroom at the top here. Uh, and it has got that like little... I think what I'm going to do is have it like that. It's not going to look exactly like the reference image. Or I could go for forward and just keep it a bit offset. Because it seems to be a bit offset on this one. I don't know how that would translate in The Sims though. I think it would look weird. Oh, I don't know because I'm going to be putting a door there as well. There is a little door there. We'll do that. So if I'm doing a mezzanine bedroom... I think what I'm going to do is do it this way, like this, and then boop you down there. And I think I'll be able to make a roof line out of that without it looking too strange. <laughs> um, I am going to do a little bump there as well, a little bump de bow, and do it like that. And hopefully we can get a good roof line on that. Mm, it might be a bit steeper than what it is in game, but uh, what that than what it is in the reference image. But that happens with The Sims because. Of scaling. We all know what it's like as a bastard. It really is. Right. I'm going to put this roof on first. I'm going to bring you to there. Now the flaps are down on all of these. So I'm going to keep all flaps down. Uh, but it is kind of like low level. It's very kind of like that kind of vibe. Yes. And some of them have tiles on. And some of them have... Or oh, this bit here in particular has like... Almost like iron roofing. So I might do... I might do that. I might mix it up, you know? Why not? It is the new year after all. That is what we're going to do today. Is anybody like me and absolutely detesting January already? Because I am. Honestly, I've had the most... Uh, my patience have just been so short these past few days. It really has. <laughs> I apolog apologise to Tom. It's like, I'm sorry. I don't know what's the matter with me. <laughs> He's like, all right, love. Calm yourself down. <laughs> no, it is that level. This one here is lower. So we'll bring that down lower too. Okay. Okay. Now, with the, this roof line, this is going to be a bit janky, I think. I might, I, may, I might bring that across a little bit more as well. Do I want to do that? No. Let's try and do something here. So, right. I think... Oh, I don't know what this is going to look like, you know. I think I need to have a little think and a play around off of camera with this roof line. Because I'm just going to be sitting here in a kind of zombie state and so that's what i've came up with it does it looks okay it looks kind of similar the scaling is obviously all off like this is a lot shorter and stuff um and the roof line is a little bit of a different pitch but we're playing around with what we can do in the sims and that my loves is exactly what we can do in the sims now there is this like weird little bit of roof line up here that i don't think i want to do because i don't think it would translate well into the sims so i'm not going to do it but I think that is a basic general shape of this house. I think this could work. So that's what we're going to bloody do in date. So what we need to find now is some wallpapers and windows and doors. So I'm going to go ahead and get them all out and we'll put them around together. So here we go. Few things have changed. I have changed the pitch of the roof because I really want to fit these in the interior. I think those are just going to make the vibe that I really want to come across, just like the reference image. Um, I've also widened the bedroom as well. The bedroom was just a little bit too small and I really wanted to get a spiral staircase in there. So that's what we've been and gone and done. I've put a little roof line here and I've done this kind of outside balcony moment here. I'm not enjoying this just yet. That I will be putting pillars and stuff underneath of it, obviously. But at the minute, there's just something 
I'm not enjoying about this. So that is subject to change. And also I've put a chimney breast over on this side here with a chimney because that's where I want to put in the fireplace into the main living and kitchen area. So that's what we're going to do. Um, a sort of semi-floor plan. So this is obviously going to be open concept here. Uh, this is going to be the kind of entrance area, the entrance hall where I'm going to be putting loads of windows in. We've used these amazing spiral staircases. I always forget the creator of these sp um, spiral staircases. I think it was the pancake or poly pancake. I can't remember. I will have them in my CC list if you want to go and grab them. And I'm going to do a little utility room and a bathroom down here. And I'm going to make this little nook into a bit of like an office. It's kind of like an empty bit of space because this is where I'm going to be putting in these big slidey barn doors. But I think if we put a desk in here, that will utilize that area quite nicely. And then have a little desk area. And then upstairs, spiral staircase comes up into a bedroom up here with a kind of balcony. I don't know what I'm going to do with that just yet. I keep looking at it and it makes me fuming. I've also picked out all of the wallpapers and stuff as well. So let's crack on. So this one here, this door that I always forget what pack this door came with. It came with growing together. I thought it was the best out of the bunch that I had. I tried a few CC doors, but I just think that one there works really nicely. We're going to use those windows into there. And we're also going to use these windows on this back area here. So it kind of floods in this kind of like atrium of light that I really liked. And I was toying with the idea. Let's see if what it's going to look like. Let's see if we can do this. Toying with the idea of adding in a skylight. Now, I know there isn't a skylight in the reference image, but I'm just going to go off on my own little creative tangent, um, tangent and hope for the best. Let's see if this would work. I have a feeling it might, especially if I use a black one from... Um, or the organic pack. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling that, I think. Let's see. I'm going to see once we've got all of the uh, roof textures on, see what happens there. I've picked a couple of traditional windows just for a little bit of juxtaposition against all of the modern ones that we're going to be using. These ones up here, I know they don't look like the ones in the reference image, but I'm just going to get, again, I'm going off on a creative whim, love. I'm going to be doing a little bifo door on this side. Following up with a big wall of windows, I'm going to do three of these on each side. And in turn, that floods so much light into this area, which I love. Ah, that's going to be marvellous. And this is obviously going to be where the living area is. Um, and then kitchen. Um, is going to, kitchen and dining is going to be around here. We'll figure out a floor plan. In due course, loves. In due course, indeed. But this is what I wanted to do with this area. Now, I need to be careful with this because I think it's going to bish bash boosh all of that out. Of course it will. Because why? Because Sims. Guys, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I love these objects. But because of the lighting on the roofing underneath of it, I really hate how that looks. It just looks shit. It really does. So I think I'm just going to put some beams on the ceiling instead to just give that kind of vibe rather than using these pieces. Because it just doesn't work. It doesn't work in The Sims because of how the lighting engine works. So, oh well, we tried. We did not succeed. Let's carry on. So around here, I put in an extra door on this area here. Because I thought that would just be a nice space where they could go through this way and get into some kind of back garden. And then up here, what I did was put in a door here and then this window to balance it out. Because this is what I wanted to have as a little balcony moment. But as of yet, I'm not enjoying how this looks. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with that once I've put the pillars and stuff in. But before that, let's get the wallpapers on so we can actually see a change here. Um, I'm going to use these shingles just on these little bumpy outy bits there. And then I'm using the Eco Lifestyle wood. I thought that was the most similar one. It's in a different position, a different position, a different direction. The wood is vertical um, and not horizontal like this, but... We're going to use it anyway because I just think it matches in really well. And you can see I've used all black windows because I just think having a contrast against the wood would look really nice. Okay, this is what I've came up with instead. So I had to change the floor plan on the interior to, to get this look. But I much prefer it. I've done a little pergola over on this side here that we can put some trinkety bits under. Maybe some gardening bits or something. Uh, and then into the interior, what I've done is put the utility room over in this area here. And then I'm going to do a big bathroom downstairs, so a full bathroom downstairs. And I much prefer the layout of it in here now. Uh, I like the spiral staircase going up over on this side here, because it's got the big slidey like barn door there. 
Uh, I've rose up a little platform here because I still want to utilize this area for a bit of an office space. But I thought just adding a little bit of a platform would just make it a little bit more interesting, really. Uh, then I put the door over onto this side here so you can kind of come out into the backyard area from this area of the house as well. Uh, and then in turn, it gives the bedroom a bit more of like a, a balcony, a little bit of outside space. Uh, and I prefer that. I do. That was a... I was getting very stressed then. Get, I was just getting really annoyed with myself. I really was. But I think that's it. I think we've got everything the way we're going to need it now. I think that is the perfect way. It's got all of the windows that I want in here. Um, so that is the exterior of the house done. So what I'm going to do is go off of cam, get all of the flooring and the wallpapers and doors and stuff into the interior. And as usual, I'm just going to go ahead and get this all landscaped, looking lovely. And I think we'll finish up on the garden areas, like a little bit of a dining space out here. As I said, a little bit of like a growing sort of like area for some plants. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that. So here we go. In that short time that I've just been gone, I've took Daisy out and we got absolutely soaking wet in the rain. So you'll have to excuse my fluffy curly hair. But I just don't care, you know. I'm going to put a little airstream in underneath this pergola. Now it is quite a tight squitch. But with some expert parking knowledge, I'm sure that they could get underneath of there quite nicely. It's like a horse box. It's not really an airstream. And that got me thinking, we're going to need to put a horse in somewhere. So I'm going to do a small little stable over here, I think, and put a horse in. But I'm also going to put in a little juice or nectar making um, thingy just behind the actual horse box itself. Because I think that would be a good thing to grow here. Maybe you could earn a bit of money in this place as well. So let's put some storage up here. I also pulled this area here over one. Just so it hung over the edge a little bit more. And made this look a little bit more interesting at the back here. And I'm kind of vibing with that. I really am. But first off, you can obviously see I've done all the landscaping and stuff. And I just kept it very simple on this side. I didn't really do anything on this side just yet. Including the terrain painting. Because I don't know where... Or what the stable is going to look like. But we're going to put that in in a second anyway. Now in the reference image. They've got two chairs out the side front of the house here. And you can see I've put in the vestibule. This little archway over the main entrance as well. I still kept in the, the skylight. But I've only done it on one side. Just so we can have that kind of moment at the front there. And I think that's pulled that area together there really nicely. Um, But yeah there's two chairs here for some reason. But I'm going to do it anyway. I don't know. Maybe they'd sit here to wait for their guests to come, but that would weird me out if I saw two chairs like that at the main entrance. I'd think I was in trouble or something, wouldn't you? Probably not, but I'm a weirdo. Here we go. I'm going to lift up these. There we go. Yeah, that looks nice. I think that looks rather cute, having those two at the top there. You can see I've put some lighting out here as well, including some lighting over on this side. Um, and I'm also going to do this here. We're going to do a little pavement up to the front door area. I don't know what the gap is there, but I'm just going to do it to there, I think. Maybe one more down here, actually. Do one more there. And then what I did was mix it up with these here. So put it in that orientation, that orientation, and that orientation. <laughs> don't, I, I have no idea. No idea. I'm, I'm losing the plot today, loves. I really am. <laughs> I'm going to be putting these two just off to each side of the little barn door there i think that looks cute oh yeah i do like this i do this coming together now i didn't like it in the beginning but it's certainly certainly tickling me tuppence now it really is uh we're going to do a little growing area because as i said i do want some kind of like nectar making abilities here i think i'm going to pull them a little bit further away maybe put some trees in these plots or pots sorry pots plots whatever and I think I'm going to do eight of them. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Lovely. So we need a stable here, don't we? So very simple stable, I think. Uh, let's map this one here for... Um, if I can go right to the edge. And then if I can bring you to there like this. Bring you to here. That'd be perfect. And then what I'm going to do is put on the big barn doors. These ones. Put that into the middle there like that. Uh, I think that would be fine. And I think what I want to do is maybe mix up the wood. I think I'm going to go for the the horse ranch wood. This one here. But in the darker. And put that for the stable. In the interior as well. Yeah, lovely. I'm going to get rid of the flooring in there. 
Yes, something like that. And then a really simple roof line. Et voila, a stable. So that's what I've done. Um, very simple, very little simple stable, but it's got everything the horse is going to need, including this trough and a little place to get some food in. And I also put a tree out the back here as well. I just thought, thought it was lacking a tree, this lot. So I'll pop one just in the middle to fill this like otherwise voided, very voided space. And then I perfected the terrain painting a little bit everywhere. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that. I put some windows in on each side as well. I think that's working. Lovely job. So this area here, I think would be the perfect little like barbecue area because it's right off of where the kitchen and everything's going to be. I'm going to use this grill here. I just think it looks quite robust. And I don't know. I think it would work well here. We're going to go for a bit more of a dirtier, rustier vibe, though. Just flop you onto that line there. And keeping it very simple out here as well. I think over in this little area here would be a perfect area to have a seating. Like a little seating moment. And I might use the same ones as what we've used at the front from Harry's Coastal Collection. I think this would work well here. Maybe I could do two smaller ones, actually, in the blue. Yes. If I just did, like, one here, one there, and then a lovely little dining table, a little coffee table in the middle of them. Even a fire pit would look good there. <gasps> oh, that could be a vibe. Let's try. Let's do that. Let's look for a fire pit. Yeah, that one there from the Happy Campers kit. I think that would work very nicely there. But I think that's it. Just nice and simple it's got everything that it would need. It looks very attractive from the outside. I think I'll leave the balcony here until we get up to the actual bedroom itself. Uh, I have picked all of the wallpapers and the uh, flooring for the interior. You can see what I've done with the beams here as well. Just put some beams across. I think that's kind of just going to pay respect to the actual reference image itself. Um, but I'm kind of happy with how that looks. So what I think I want to do now is make a start on the main area itself, I think. I think we're going to make a start on the living room and the kitchen dining area. So let me just decorate this up and we'll make a bloody start. So one kitchen coming right up, but I've left the island where it is because I can't be asked to take it apart again and put it back together. Um, but that's the size of the island that would fit in here perfectly. The rest, it just looked a little bit too big for The Sims. The scaling was not, was not on. It was not on. We're going to start over this area because I did something really nice with this uh, range oven. So what I did, we, we haven't got the big like sort of uh, range hood. We have got one with the with Felix Anders uh, Chateau, but it just didn't fit right. It didn't fit right here, even when I sized it down. Um, so I'm not using it. I'm not using it at all. Let's get this corner put in first like that. And then what I did behind the oven itself because in the reference image there were some lovely like blue tiles behind it so i put some blue tiles in and i was like oh it kind of like looks weird up there then to counteract that was use this piece here from the organic collection and just flop it into place like that and when you can look in it just looks like it was seamless loves and then we didn't have a range hood itself so i've kind of made one and it looks nice i think it looks nice anyway um, so I plopped in these shelves here from Felix's Grove collection. I can't remember where I put them. I think it was around about there. And then I flopped that into that place like that. Did I make this a bit bigger? I think I did. I think it was a little bit bigger like that. I could be wrong. I'll move. I'll maneuver it in. If I nope, I was not wrong. I was right. And then I think it was a bit higher actually. I think I put it up to about here. Oh, did I? I can't remember because I did put pots and pans above it. Nope, that was in the correct position. So it was down to here and then we have those lovely copper pans just above it like this beautiful and then i thought this here looks like the big like sort of like um what do you call them a mantle i think they're called a mantle aren't they and it kind of acts and then it adds a, a little bit of light over into this area here as well which is nice and i'm very much for it uh, and i also added in one of these taps as well and i'm going to plop you around about there can i change the color of this can we go a little bit more copper with that one? Or was that the only colour that that one comes in? There we go. That's in the right position right there. Beautiful. Stunning. Cover girl. Right, moving on. So I put some of these plates over in that orientation there. Let's get the counters in. You can obviously see I've changed the windows here as well. The windows were not working for me. And I'm using Charlie Pancake's Chalk Kitchen because it works really nicely in here. It looks very similar to the one in the reference image as well, which is nice. 
Uh, and I've flopped this all the way around to here. Lots of steps with this kitchen it was. Lots of steps indeed. But I think it looks nice what, what we've done with it so far. You know. Uh, I'm going to flop you to there. And then we carry on this side around here as well. Same with you there. And let's get the cupboards up too. So cupboards. Uh, oh, actually. No. No cupboards there. I put in another one of these over on this side. One of these here like this. You can obviously see I've used a... Uh, tile backdrop as well or tile backsplash sorry that's what we're going to be doing yes we are indeed little corner piece there like this and then i think i just put in a corner piece over on that side and the same over to this side here as well so boopty bopty boo and a whipty wopty wop like that oh see looking marvelous now the only problem with these splashbacks um is that i had to put them in in manual so i had to like do every single one like this just so it fit in perfectly uh so that was a little bit annoying but you know sometimes you can't have everything and today i certainly have not had anything because i've had a very i've just had a really stressful day today I don't know what it is one of those days loves you know and i hate january i think it's that i just know january it's here and you've got to live through it <laughs> and that is the mood of this month it is the mood of this month and there we go just a nice little bit of backsplash behind that whole kitchen area there coming along gorgeously we did have other things that i'm going to add in oh well i can put the coffee machine there now little coffee machine making station i put some herbs up on the wall here for some reason and i've used this this is a diff this is from felix's paris collection i think it's a bar but I think I, I wanted to have something on top of it as well. So I've used Sir Harry's Harlux like bar on top of it. I might actually change that colour down a little, mute it down just a little bit. Because it's a little bit too rich for this kitchen, I think. And then I really wanted one of those like very Western style skull with horns up on the wall here. And I think I'm going to put down some kind of seat there. I think what would work well is if I can push this in a little bit further without it coming through the other side. That was a little bit too much, Aiden. There we go, like that. And they should be able to use both of the bars. I will play a test it to make sure that they can. But it's there now, you know? I like the look of that, I do. I do like the look of it indeed. We do need a bin, obviously. I will put a bin in. And we do need other little trinkety bits out on the sides and stuff. So let me just whiffle all of that up. And then we're going to crack on with the dining room area, which I'm going to put here, I think. Okay, my lovelies, here we go. So I put in this little um, seating area here underneath for the skull. We put some cushions up. Uh, what else did I do? I didn't really add too much else in here. A little plant up here, uh, a little cactus in the window, and a microwave. And I just thought that was just, just enough, to be honest. Just enough. We've already put the dining room table and chairs. So I don't know where I was looking then. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was trying to look at you, but I didn't. I looked somewhere completely else. You'll have to excuse me. Anyway, dining room, table and chairs. We've gone for the coastal one from Harry and the country collection chairs from Car from Harry as well. Uh, I also put up a TV up here above the fireplace. I had to like get rid of the bloody fireplace. You know, you know the drill. And I've already picked out the living area as well. So keeping it kind of simple. Got a bit of inspiration from the actual... Uh, living room area itself in the airbnb um but i kind of went off on my own little tangent with this one uh using this amazing sofa from charlie pancakes this is the slouch sofa is it the slouch sofa the slouch sofa it's a modular sofa and it's amazing it comes in some really fun swatches including this one here we could have went for a bit of cow print today is there a cow print one? Oh yeah there we go could have done some cow print but um i didn't want to <laughs> not today not today. Not at all. Um, I don't know why that plant is up there. That's very silly of that plant. Get down on the floor. I put this plant over in the corner here. I have whiffled this table around and I think I put it... I, it was around here. I think I pulled this back a bit further, actually. I think I went back about two. And then, can you hear Daisy bark? And she's downstairs for Tom. Um, and then... Oh, I don't know what position that would be best in. I think like that... And I kind of like tilted it slightly because I tilted the rug. This rug is from Horse Ranch, by the way. I did use this in the Carter Sisters apartment, I think, for Let's Build the Worlds. 
And I just thought it matched him really nicely in here. So I've done that. A little area for them to read and all of that good stuff. And I also put in a little um, vinyl layer there too. Let's get that into position, thank you. And some vinyls on top there. And to finish off, I just flopped in one of the little pictures from the horse ranch pack as well. Just thought the colours were nice in here as well. A little pop. But I like that. I think that's very nice. I would have liked if I darkened down the floor, but I tried so many different woods in here and it just didn't look right. I think that I'm going to stick with the lighter wood floor, but I was... Ugh. Or I've just tried these herringbone ones and I think I like that. I think I like that a little bit more, a little bit darker on the floor, but still keep everything a bit more bright and white with the kitchen and stuff. Yes, I enjoy that a lot more. Okay. Well, we are done with that whole main area here. Uh, so I think what we're going to do, I'm going to furnish up this like little area here in this little vestibule. And we are going to do the, the bathroom and the utility room together. And here we are. So this is the little entrance area that I've done. I've made it a bit of a plant utopia because it's got a skylight. I just thought it would have been the perfect area and lots of windows to grow some plants. A little chair area there, a little tapestry on the wall a bench, another plant by the front door, and then through into this area here. I did say I was going to make this into a little bit of an office, but it's more of just like a desk space away from the rest of the house, a bit quiet in case I wanted to get on with some work. And then this little area that comes through into the backyard, I just put in some lovely bits of furniture. Still wanted that kind of rusticy sort of ranch vibe that we're going, we're going for in here. Um, and that was about it. Oh, and a little bookcase over in this corner here. How very dare you? I didn't even see that. Well, I'll make sure to move that. But I just thought that was a nice area to put a big bookcase. As seeming as we've not really put a bookcase in here. Apart from that smaller one in the living room. Anyway, so into the bathroom. Using Harry's coastal collection in here quite a bit. I'm going to put the bath there. What about putting the shower here? Because it comes out quite far as well. I think that's a nice little vibe. But still having a little bit of separation off from the rest of the bathroom. Um, with a bit of glass there. And then I'm going to use this uh, vanity, which comes with separate sinks. You can choose what sinks you put on top of this. So I've done those two. And I've used the um, outdoor retreat mirror, but I had to move it down with the tool mod. And that's why I've left it there. I'm going to flop up a lovely little towel rail just by the bath area there. I'm going to move in the toilet. I think I'm going to put the toilet a little bit further in so I can fit that plant off to the side just there like that and then the pièce de résistance a little cheeky bit of toilet roll just there like that beautiful oh yeah i'm very much for that very much for that indeed so we've got one bathroom now we need a little utility room i don't think i'm going to do much in here at all i think i'm going to add a washer and a dryer and maybe a bit of storage and cupboard space so i'm going to crack on with that and i'll show you that before we move ahead and go up to the bedroom and also the bulk the outside balcony area and there we go with the utility room again as i said just kept it really simple use the same kitchen uh, but put a nice washer and dryer in there and a little um, laundry basket as well yes i did and upstairs, we're going up to the bedroom now. now. If you're worried about these beams getting in the way of your gameplay, all you have to do is just put the kind of like walls down and those beams disappear. So it won't affect your gameplay. But inside, it just makes it look lovely on the ceiling. Oh, I do like that indeed. So again, keeping it simple. That is my mantra this year. It was very much last year as well. But this year, we're keeping it simple, loves. Simple, to me, to me it makes it more realistic. You know, I, I I used to go over the top with cluttering things and that's just not me. That's not how I build. And this is how I build very simply. And I think it comes together really nicely. So I'm going to use those two. We're going to a bit darker with the furniture in here as well. Going with those. Um, I can't remember. I think this is Pierre Sim. Pierre Sim from the, the Woodland Ranch collection. And I'm sure this one here is Pierre Sim as well. I could be wrong. Yep, no, it is. It's Oak House. It's from his Oak House collection, which I absolutely love. Um, I'm going to put a chair over in this corner and a cheeky little mirror on this side here. And I did have something next. Oh, yeah, this one here. I just thought this was very ranchy. The kind of leather poofs. I do love these. I think they're gorgeous. I would love one in my house. Um, but they're bloody expensive. Uh, but aren't... All poofs are expensive. Honestly, 
I was looking at some for my living room. They're about five, six hundred pound each. I'm like, for goodness sake, they're just for my feet. I would, I would want someone to come round and put my feet on it for that price. Thank you. Anyway, little chair over here with a little wall light. So they can sit down, have a little read if they may wish. I then also put a big plant over in this corner here. Just to add it. Um, add something nice over into that area. Oh, what I did forget to do was put in some curtains on this side. That's what we're going to do together. Using these ones here from the Domaine de Clos. From Pierre Sim once again. Um, a very, very talented uh, CC creator. I absolutely love everything that he creates. I'm going to flop these in all the way across to here like this beautiful job yeah that looks lovely that frames the window and lovely oh i love those curtains on that wall that's beautiful yes and then i'm going to add in very simply again simple simple I'm going to add in a little bed over to this side here and what i did was just use two different bedside tables but i only put a light on one of them in fact i it was around this way so i put a smaller one on this one just they look those um, bedside tables look like they've been whittled with some wood and I can imagine a sexy lumberjack living in this house who did that. <laughs> okay, Aiden, you're getting thirsty, love. And then I also put out a couple of details out here. I put some lights. Oh, we forgot about you though, sorry. I put this one up in this here just to help out with that area. I thought that area was looking a little bit bare. Love that little tapestry, it's lovely. And as I was saying, uh, put a couple of lights out here. A couple of lounges and a telescope and we're done my loves we are done with our montana little mini ranch really it's like a little modern mini ranch i do like how it looks i must admit i like the vibe of it i'm glad i came across that on airbnb because it gave me lots of inspiration so here we are with the tour the outside of it yeah it's cute i like it i do like it indeed lovely little entrance area over there big barn doors gorgeous gorgeous things we've got a pergola with a little horse box underneath of it you come around this way it's got an area here that you can i reckon they're going to grow some kind of i don't know tree like a fruit tree out here i don't know what would grow in montana so i'm not going to say anything specific um a little area here for a little bit of uh fire pit time i did forget what that was called then um, little chimney breast. Come around to this way. Got yourselves a little dining area and a grilling station, otherwise known as a barbecue. And a little stable as well, a little stable for a horse, maybe a pony, you know? <laughs> but I just think that's a nice little cute addition to add into this build, uh, especially in this world. I think it would make a lot of sense for this world. And anyway, let's get into the main house then, shall we? And have a little look through everything. So in through the front door, we are greeted with this lovely entrance hall. Love the use of those um, chandeliers in here. I think it just brings everything together and makes it feel a bit ranchy. Modern ranch. Very much into it. Then you come into the main living area. Nice big fireplace there. Little dining nook. And a nice big kitchen. Nice big family kitchen. It's... It, it's a shame I only did one bedroom, really. I wish I added a few more bedrooms onto this place because it has got such a good entertaining space. But maybe they've got lots of friends, you know, rather than family. Uh, and maybe I could add on to this one day and make it into a bigger ranch. I'd rather just build one from scratch, to be honest. Um, nice spiral staircase going up to the uh, only bedroom. A little office nook over to that side. We do have a lovely little corridor here that takes you out into the backyard area itself and then we have a big bathroom the only bathroom here I do like that bathroom though that bathroom's nice and then into a little utility room as well gorgeous mm, could do with a few other things there looks a bit bare to me but you know we're keeping it simple simple but not bare and that was looking a bit bare i must admit I do like the bedroom the bedroom has just got a feeling for me that i really like gorgeous gorgeous yes um and then you come through this way here onto the bedroom balcony telescope couple of sun lounges oh, we're done we are done right um i have got one house left in the u.s we're gonna go a bit more south this time we've gone as far north as we can we're gonna go as far south as we can um so that is gonna be the end of the kind of u.s 
portion of our Google Earth series. After that, I'm going to be delving back into Europe. We're going to go into Europe and do a few European builds using Google Earth. And then I'm going to venture all around the world. I want to go to South America. I want to go to the Philippines, around that kind of area. Asia. I want to do a bit of Australia as well. So be on the looks out for it, my darlings. I'm going to leave you now. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back tomorrow with my top five favorite builds of last year. So be on the looks out for it. Leave me some lovely comments. Goodbye.